Well, hey man, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Um, I love coming to William Mary. It's one of my favorite drives in America. Now we're at 17. A little bit of what we're going to talk about today. But at our table, we were talking old friends about the one percent. We were talking about Occupy. We were talking about this beautiful room. And frankly, how lucky many of you all are to go to the schools you do. Um, and you know, sometimes people can be burdened by that sense of, you know, I go to this school, it's a really rich school or whatever. You know what, I, I, this is one of the first things we need to talk about in leadership because everybody has the capacity to lead. And that's where I really wanted to get the story because I love history. I didn't go to college. I wanted to open nightclub. So I, I ran nightclubs. But I, really, as soon as I got out of high school, I barely graduated high school. I hightailed it into DC because I was, I was uh, thrilled with the punk rock movement. Because back when I was young, you all go to disco nights. It sounds fun, man. I was there. Disco sucked. Um, so for me, getting as fast as I could into D.C. and starting to work in nightclubs was all I wanted to do. But ever since then, I, I read history a lot. And I stumbled across this most interesting person a while ago that I had never heard of. And I'm always amazed when you, when you find something that you're like, how could I have not known about this? This would have actually made school fun. You know what they told me about this? But this guy's name was Thomas Clarkson. And I just, I'm mesmerized to this day. I read a lot about this guy, but here's the story. This is in the mid-1700s. And Thomas Clarkston was a school that was at Cambridge University. Now, right off the bat, Thomas Clarkston is uh, the son of the elite. Nobody goes to college back then. In fact, one of the great things about America is our land-grant universities. This was one of the first times in the history of the world the government said, said, let's educate the sons and daughters of farmers. But back in the day, only people who were the sons of the aristocracy went to college. But even within colleges, there was rank. No matter how smart you were, where you were born is where you stayed, your station in life. But there was one, one interesting little kind of wild part. And this was the annual Latin essay contest at Cambridge. Now every year, everybody waited dutifully when they came out and they pinned up on the wall the subject that was chosen randomly um, and I don't know what kind of weird twist of, of history, but some American Quakers who had been pushing for abolition somehow had gotten the ear of President Dean of Cambridge. So the subject that year, everybody's waiting, what's going to be, what's going to be, is it wrong to enslave a man against his will? That's a pretty crazy subject. You know, and, but this, again, make no mistake, this prize, you win that prize, this leapfrogs you above everybody. This is a big deal. So the students went off intensely trying to, you know, to kind of get an edge and win this prize. Now Thomas Clarkson, he just wanted to win the prize. That's all he wanted. I'm just, this is a prize, no, you know. So he interviewed slave ship captains. He interviewed uh, soldiers who were coming back from the British colony of Jamaica, which was a ginormous slave plantation. The entire island literally was, uh, was about sugar production. And lo and behold, Thomas Clarkson wins the prize. Now what's wild about Thomas Clarkson is he um, started to head down to London because you know, he, in effect, was now the big winner. And he could pick his career. He was a made man, so to speak. And on his way down, he got off his horse, legend has it. And this is a place, personally, I'd love to go in. It's called Wade's Mill. And I think it was just basically a crossing in, in a river but he got off his horse and he paced. And he struggled with the emotions of this, this sense of like, I can't go any further. I can't not do something about this. You know, all he wanted to do was win the prize. Carson went up against every piece of power that you could possibly have, and the dude won. 